good morning everyone today we will discuss the basic concept of computer technology one of the important topic so we have to know the fundamentals of computer system so before we start uh, we have to know what is computer what are the parts of computer history of computer functions of computer and generations of computer so first of all we have to know what is the full form of computer c for common o for oriented m for machine p for particularly u for used for t for trade e for education and r for research that means uh, computer can be used for common purpose as well as for scientific purpose also so now we'll discuss the definition of computer so computer is an high speed electronic data processing device which takes some input and process it and it produces output okay so another definition that is it is electronic machine operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory so number one that is accepts data manipulates data produces results store results also so computer can do simple to complex calculations within a fraction of second so now we will discuss the functions of computer so it is the ipo cycle input process and output so certain input is needed to accomplish a task a process is carried out on the input to obtain the output or result okay so this is the ipo cycle first whatever we want to input data you need we need some input device first input unit then it will process how it will process we need one cpu central processing unit after processing part it will give results so that is output there also we need output device so there are three stages first stage input unit second stage cpu central processing unit and third stage is performed by output unit and uh, during processing we need we want to store our data we need one storage device that is main memory it holds the input and intermediate output during the processing so now see uh, this is input device keyboard mouse through this device we can input the data and it will be process so we need cpu cpu some hardware parts are there and storage device is there so hardware parts like uh, motherboard smps ram that is random access memory rom that is read only memory so ram is temporary storage memory and hard disks and floppy disks are called as permanent storage device okay so after processing we need we have to see the results so these are the output device like monitor and printer through this device we can see the output these are the examples of input device like uh, mouse keyboard webcam touch screen joystick 
microphone and optical pen on the right side uh, that is output device like monitor speaker printer projector headset plotter so these are the input and output devices now we will discuss the difference between software and hardware so what is software software is a set of instructions that tells a computer exactly what to do that means it's a set of uh, programs that tells a computer exactly the specific task it can do the specific task and uh, what is hardware so hardware is a physical parts or components that cause processing of data and software cannot be executed without hardware hardware cannot perform any task without software so it is called interdependent software cannot be touched hardware can can be seen and touched software is debugged in case of problem hardware is repaired in case of problem software is reinstalled if the problem is not solved hardware is replaced if the problem is not solved now these are the examples of software and hardware two types of software one is uh, system software another is application software system software that we know that windows linux unix windows that is the version of windows like windows 7 windows 8 xp windows 10 and linux unix ubuntu these are the software system software or it is called as operating software application software like microsoft word office package word excel powerpoint pen brush and other softwares and what is examples of hardware that you have seen you can see the image a uh, monitor scanner speaker printer keyboard laptop cpu all are called hardware so these are the examples of software and hardware so now let us learn the history of computer computer is invented by the hard work of many scientists okay that we know the first charles babbage is called as the father of modern computer he invented the structure of computer at first in 1833 he invented two engines uh, namely analytical engine and difference engine also he developed computer had five parts like store mail control input and output after this it has been rapidly modified and many others computers have been invented so now I will discuss the generations of computer. So number one, first generation of computer. So duration 1940 to 1955. So here vacuum tubes are used. Second generation of computer, 1956 to 1963. Then third generation computer. 1964 to 1971 the fourth generation of computer 1971 to till present that we are using that computer so fifth generation of computer that is the upcoming computer so we can say it's a future computer now you can see the image of first generation of computer were developed from 1942 to 55 so 
so this is called the first generation of computer you can see the image of first generation of computer it is very huge very big in size a vacuum tube consists of a glass bulb and a wire the wire is used to carry data in the form of electronic signals so you can see the image so that is vacuum tube that is also very big in size so the merit of first generation of computer it is very big in size not for personal use and it generates heats so that's why the scientists uh, developed the second generation of computer smaller than first generation of computer but it is also big in size from um, uh, developed between uh, 1956 to 64 you can see the image of second generation of computer so here second generation of computer used transistors instead of vacuum tubes so you can see the image of transistor it is also produce lots of heats so after that scientists developed the third generation of computer from 1965 to 1975 it is smaller than first and second generation of computer small in size so we can see an integrated circuit ics is used as a small as small as a transistor but it can work as fast as thousands of them that means that means it is uh, more reliable than both the two generation of computer still there was some problem though it's uh, not for single use personal use so scientists developed another generation of computer that is fourth generation of computer 1975 to till present we are using so we can see the image that that we know we are using all these computers the four generation computer use microprocessors a microprocessor consist of small small silicon chips and on which thousands of circuits are placed so your small small silicon chips are used with some thousands of circuits were placed microprocessor that technology that device is called microprocessor and let's see the image that is also personal computer it is very smaller portable and cheaper also they use less electricity and produce less heat so now this is the fifth generation of computer that is future computer so scientists are now trying to develop fifth generation of computers in a way that they can think on their own so this is called artificial intelligence ai technology is used so robots work on this technology so nowadays uh, in hospitals and uh, restaurants also robot this artificial intelligence technology is used in hospitals our robots treats the patients as well as a restaurant or hotel robot solves as a waiter work so now the classifications of digital computers so computers 
are classified according to the size speed and memory capacity so different types of digital computers so mainly four types that is super computer mainframe computer mini computer and micro computer that is personal computer so these are the examples desktop laptop tablet pump top so first of all we will discuss the uses of super computer so you can see uh, the image of super computer it is used for weather prediction for weather uh, forecasting the scientists are using and uh, the weapon design and atomic research purpose the scientists also using this super computer in government sector uh, they are used this super computer for different uh, calculations big big calculations and uh, heavy jobs that means uh, complex calculations can be done using super computer so that we know that hollywood movies also they are using for animation purpose animation purpose this super computer can be so now mainframe computer is a powerful computer it is used by many large organizations big companies to manage a large amount of centralized data and programs so like uh, hospitals universities banks or government offices they are using as a their server so now many computers it is used by small business and firms many computers are also called as the mid range computers so these are small machine and can be accommodated on a disk with not as processing and data storage capabilities as super computer and mainframe computer similar to super computer and mainframe computer but it is very small size so these computers are not designed for a single user it is individual departments or a small department of a large company or organizations so it is used many computers for specific purposes for example a production department agriculture department they are using many computers for monitoring certain production process okay so now micro computer this is also called as personal computer pc also desktop computer it is very small in size cheapest and uh, widely used computers so that laptop desktop tablet smartphone that we are using so it is designed for as a single user system so normally linked together to form a network we can make small small network small computer contains microprocessor that we have already discussed as its central processor so now the advantages of computers storage of information we can store our data and information large amount of storage capacity can be possible quick data processing audio visual aids we can listen music videos for visual purpose better presentation of information we can prepare presentation access to the internet we can access internet and we can search many topics through internet and uh, quick quick communication between students teachers and 
parents can be possible interaction can be possible through computers so next video will learn the importance of computer technology so for today thank you to get uh, more videos computer learning videos so just like and subscribe to get updated computer learning videos thank you